When Burn the Witch manga originally released, I expressed my disdain not only for the one-shot, but the miniseries for essentially being the pineapple topping on a pizza. The series attempts to be an adventure into fear exploring the extraordinary yet ordinary fascinating lives of its magician's main characters, as they journey into the unusual and often surreal world of western branch of soul society, which drags up nothing but a sense of nostalgia comfort from Taikobo's original Bleach series, which this is not. Burn the Witch's existence is rooted in the Bleach series, however its chiseled bottled narrative is outside the parameters of what someone would consider to be an infectious enthusiasm towards a series that draws you into the point that maybe you reevaluated reading it hours upon hours of Wikipedia lore and drawing degenerate fan art, which is something I hadn't done and will never and not do for this series. So, to put it rather bashfully, Burn the Witch is indeed a relaxed series about cliché characters that do cliché things, but the overarching narrative lacks passion and a creative power, being your everyday run-of-the-mill unapologetic celebration of youth culture and individualism, with a story that promises that'll be larger than it really is, but isn't because it buys off more than it can chew, and it's choking to death. Because the story constantly splits exposition that these characters should be already aware of, then creates drama and conflict around characters and problems that don't seem to really matter to me or just not work narratively seeming artificial because the story has got a story which isn't helped by the cardboard cutout stereotypes each character embodies and the unfinished feeling the narrative gives you by the time credits roll. Now there isn't anything wrong with character archetypes being used as a blueprint for a character but when that template isn't evaluated or re-examined or recontextualized in a meaningful way that doesn't help the narrative seem any more interesting than it really is when the story's quality is as good as watching paint dry. Not to say that the animation isn't gorgeous sometimes for Born the Witch, but the overarching narrative of Burn the Witch revolves around a doormat supporting character who can't click his spoon pen and chew bubblegum at the same time, having nothing that can possibly resemble anything that can amount to a, to a character, having as many brain cells as he does teeth, thereby making him as useful as a rock. Then there's the static one who reacts to most of many situations with a mixture of seriousness and deadpan observational glares who's mainly interested in money for the work she does, juxtaposed by the abrasive, rude, and temperamental character that acts like a child, which ultimately muddies both the primary characters of the story to be your run-of-the-mill bootlickers who have X, Y, and Z happen to them. Anyway, for those interested in the more spicier details, from what I can gather, the story takes place in the Bleach universe, but not in Japan, therefore there are no Soul Reapers for whatever reason, and because it takes place in England, we learn that front London is populated by normal everyday humans who can't see or travel to reverse London which is filled with dragons and all sorts of supernatural whatnots. But the overarching goal of the West Soul Society is to dominate or domesticate dragons and protect the world from the collateral damage of allowing reverse London to bleed into the real world because of course it is. But when the narrative of this story starts, when that character that kind of resembles that character from Bleach attracts dragons because of whatever reason the story justifies but I don't remember because I forgot because it seemed very lackadaisical and the upper branch of western soul society council wants to kill him because of politics and that reason that he attracts dragons that are again too fleshed out because this entire anime is based off a six part mini series it's not good, it's kinda dumb. Anyway, what do I think about Burn the Witch? Like I said, it's a kinda dumb show. Therefore, I give the anime a rating of just go watch Jujutsu Kaisen instead.